Praise the Lord, friend. Welcome to the Good News Program. This is the program designed to share good news from God's Word. It's always a good day because Jesus is on the throne and His grace and His peace is always available. So I encourage you to stay tuned for this next half, half hour because I'm going to continue to share with you about the good news concerning the Holy Spirit. On our previous programs, I've been sharing with you different things about the Holy Spirit. You know, we hear a lot about uh, the Father and the Son, Jesus, but not as much about the Holy Spirit. Where does the Holy Spirit fit in? And we also hear Him called Holy Ghost, but that's simply what the uh, King James Version uses, and it's the word ghost. Is simply the word spirit. If you look in the Greek, you'll find it's actually the word spirit. So whether you use ghost or spirit, it's the same thing. And uh, one thing I'm going to get into about the Holy Spirit is what Ephesians 5 and 18 says, not to be drunk with wine, but to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, drugs and alcohol in our world today, when people abuse them, that's a counterfeit for the real thing, which is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that gives us power for living. So I encourage you to get on the phone, call your friend and neighbor and tell them the Good News program is on. Brother Mike's talking about the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to share a song with you first of all. One of my favorite songs that I wrote a long time ago entitled, He Spoke Peace to Me, and He Really Did. He Spoke Peace to my heart, and I have never been the same again. So you just praise the Lord as I sing this song and share this short teaching segment, and I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. Stay tuned. Jesus healed a lame man. He caused the blind to see. Then he healed a dumb man and he caused him to speak he walked upon the water and calmed the rain didn't see but the best part of all he spoke peace to me now he's my healer my revealer he's a friend and a keeper oh i love him more than words could ever say Now I was just a stranger Traveling all alone I didn't know that I Was about to lose my soul Then I heard that old, old story by the Savior's boundless love He turned my life around Gave me peace from above Now He's my healer My revealer He's a friend And a key I love him more than words could ever say. How many loves the Lord tonight? He's a friend 
was also anointed by the Holy Spirit, and he was anointed in the river of Jordan. Remember after John baptized him, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, lighting upon him. And then the heavens opened, and we heard a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. At this time, the Spirit led him into the wilderness to be tested. There he fasted and prayed 40 days and nights. You done getting hungry by then. You're not hungry no more. You're getting hungry. When you hadn't ate nothing for 40 days and 40 nights. Then Satan came to test him, but Jesus defeated him. By using the word of God. Every time he said, it is written, it is written, it is written. That tells me that the spirit always works with the word. Amen. It's so important, yes, to know about the Holy Spirit and work in line with him in your life, but also you need to know the word of God because the Holy Spirit uses the word. Amen. The Holy Spirit uses the word to defeat enemies. Jesus used the word. The word has been called the sword of the what? Spirit. The sword of the spirit. Now when the testing was ended, the Bible says in Luke 4, 14, that Jesus returned in the power of the spirit. So every time that you faced a test, and you win that test, there is a fresh anointing for you. Amen. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Jesus then entered the synagogue in his hometown, and he took the scroll and he read from Isaiah, which said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. There it is. We're talking about the Holy Spirit. In the life of Jesus here, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And I want you to know that Jesus is still doing that same thing today. And he's doing it through the Holy Spirit in the body of Christ. Amen. We are proclaiming the good news to the poor. We are preaching the gospel to the poor. We are preaching the good news that heals the brokenhearted. And we're proclaiming deliverance to the captives. But not in our own strength through the Holy Spirit. He has anointed us as the body of Christ. He has anointed us to do the works of Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. When he went to Capernaum and taught, the scripture says that they were astonished at his doctrine. Why? For his word was with power. It wasn't like some of the other scribes and teachers that stood up and, and uh, read the scripture and maybe had some commentary from some of the other scribes. But no, his word was with power because he had been anointed by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. We're not ready for ministry until we're anointed by his Holy Spirit. Can you say amen? Amen. Well, in Acts 10, 38, Luke tells how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. How was God with him? In the person of the Holy Spirit. Amen? 
And God is with us in the person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about the precious Holy Spirit today. How is he working today? Well, to begin with, the Holy Spirit is the agent of salvation. According to John 16, 8 through 11, it's the Holy Spirit that convicts one of sin. You see, we can't save anybody. All we can do is proclaim the message, and it's the Holy Spirit that opens the heart. It's the Holy Spirit who shows one their need of righteousness and it exposes our self-righteousness. Jesus said in John 3, 5, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So see, we have to be born of the Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the one that imparts life to the individual. See, Mankind needs life, not religion. Mankind needs life, not a new leaf. Mankind needs life, not a new philosophy. We need life. Why? Because we are spiritually dead. Spiritually dead. That's what sin has done. It has made people spiritually dead. And the Holy Spirit gives life. That's why 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, which means to be born again, he is a new creation. Catch that. New creation. Somebody say new. new. The Amplified says something that has not existed before. God creates See, it's a creative act. It's more than a mental decision. But when we say, yes, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, but I look to you, Jesus, because you shed your blood to cover me and to forgive me of all of my sins, and I receive you and what you have done for me, then the Holy Spirit <laughs> breathes. There's that breathing again. There's that wind again. Breathes in our spirit the breath of life and we become new creations. Amen? It's supernatural. Religion is simply man's rules and regulations. Religion is man's way to get to God. But Christianity is the fact that God came down to man because we couldn't save ourselves. He came down among us, amen, and he did it for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He became like us so that we can become like he is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the Holy Spirit is the one that imparts life to us. But then he doesn't stop there. The Holy Spirit continues his ministry in the body of Christ by sanctification. I know that's a mile-long word, but simply means to set apart. And sanctification is in two phases. Number one, it happens at conversion because when you accept Jesus, you are set apart from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You are set apart from the world and, and then you are brought to the kingdom of God. See, we are citizens not just of the world anymore, but we are citizens of the kingdom of God. You can't see it. Paul said you can't, you can't tell it by observation. You can't see it. The kingdom of God, you know, it's not meat or drink, but it's righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then phase number two, sanctification is a process that happens every day. He is the potter, and we are the clay, and we're on the potter wheel, and he's molding us and making us every day. 
Amen. Lord, just mold me. Just make me, Lord. Oh, Lord, just do something with this old flesh, Lord. Just bend me straight, Lord. I'm, I'm too crooked, Lord. Just straighten me up and let me be in line with you. That's sanctification. And that's a process every day. Well, I just missed up. I messed up, you know. I, that's all right. Just get back on the potter's wheel. Amen. You messed up. That's all right. Ask God to forgive you and jump back on the potter's wheel. Amen. But see, too many times we jump off the potter's wheel and we go and run off and say, oh, God, you can't do nothing with me. I'm just not good enough. But we got to jump back on the potter's wheel. You can never do anything to make him stop loving you. There's people that's not here today because they don't feel like God loves them because of mistakes that they've made. But you could never do anything to make him stop loving you. He loves you. Even in your sin, God loves you more than you could ever know. Now, he wants you to repent of sin, but he loves you. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord, friend. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us new life and he also gives us power for living. And if you would like to get more teaching along this line, you can call and request uh, this teaching I've been sharing with you and I'll be glad to send it to you on CD or DVD for your gift of any amount. Just call us at 888-429-2280. Again, that's 888-429-2280, and it's entitled Discovering the Holy Spirit. Now, if you want to do an in-depth uh, study on it, I do have a three-CD series and uh, that I really take my time and go through many scriptures, and you can call and get that for a gift of $15 to the ministry at 888-429-2280, and it's entitled... Uh, the same thing, Discovering the Holy Spirit series. And so if you want to learn more about the Holy Spirit, then this is one way to do it. Call today and get this series for this limited time offer of $15 to 888-429-2280. If I'm not in the office when you call, just leave your name and number and someone will get back to you real soon. I tell you, I'm excited about teaching about the Holy Spirit. Now, the first thing, if you have never received Jesus as your Savior and Lord, that's how to get the Holy Spirit working in your life. You got to receive Jesus first. And if you've never done that, you can do it right now. And you might say, well, right right now? I mean, uh, on, on this program? I can do it right now. Yes, it's that simple. All you have to do is, number one, admit that you need a Savior. The Bible says that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And uh, so that tells us that we need a Savior. And you have to know that first and then be willing to turn from your sin, turn from your own way, and believe that Jesus died on that cross for your sin and then invite him into your heart and life. It's that simple, just like four little simple steps. And I want you to pray with me right now. If you want to, if you've never done this, just say, Heavenly Father, I believe that your word says that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I turn from my sin and my own way, and I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sin. And I invite you, Jesus, into my heart and life to be my Savior and to be my Lord. Thank you for saving me now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Friend, if you've prayed that prayer or something like it, I want you to know the Bible says that you've got born again. That means you receive the life of God. His Spirit has come to abide in you. Now you can have power for living. And I just want to pray with you right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those that prayed that prayer to receive Jesus in their life. Now, I just ask that you fill them, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Fill them to overflowing, Lord, and give them power for living in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it right now. Hallelujah. If you want to know more 
As I said earlier about this subject, call for our CD teachings. And if you prayed that prayer to receive Jesus for your first time, I want to send you a free little book entitled, Now What? Now that I'm a child of God, what do I do now? Well, this tells you how to read your Bible, and this tells you different steps that you need to know to begin growing in the Lord. This also tells you a little bit about the Holy Spirit and uh, the importance of being filled with the Holy Spirit. And so if you want to get this free little book, just call me at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's a toll-free call anywhere in the nation, 888-429-2280. And I'll be glad to send that right to you. Oh, don't forget our next concert coming up April 1st right here at the Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana, where I pastor. I'll be singing. My good friend Glenn Fendelson will be singing. And our special guests will be Randy and Sherry Miller. So for our all evening of country gospel, southern gospel, and Christian comedy this time, because Randy is a Christian comedian as well. So be sure and come out and be with us April the 1st. And don't forget, we always have some kind of good country cooking. And uh, I don't know what's on the uh, menu for April 1st, but I know it's going to be good. It's usually something like good old jambalaya or fried chicken or something uh, on that order. So put it on your calendar to come and be with us April the 1st. If you don't know how to get here, we have a map on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. And the best thing, it's absolutely free to get in. That's right. We don't sell tickets. You get in absolutely free. We simply receive a love offering for the guest during the concert. So for more information, go on that website at mvmgoodnews.com. And hey, if you're coming through our area on a Sunday morning, we have regular church services here at 1030 Sunday mornings. And I'm usually singing and uh, Brother Glenn Fendelson is singing and one of us is preaching. So if you love the preaching of the word, the praise and worship and the operation of the Holy Spirit, come out and be with us any Sunday morning. And I'm still offering my two CD offer, music offer. And this is available for a gift of only $15 to the ministry. It's gospel favorites and simple things. So if you already have them, maybe you'd like to get them as a gift for someone else. So for a limited time, these two CDs for only $15. Now remember, it's usually $15 for just one CD and you have to pay the postage. But this limited time offer, I'm offering both CDs for only $15 and I pay the postage. So call today and get your special offer at 888-429-2280. That's 888-429-2280. And I want to say a special thanks to all my partners. Thank you, partners, for being such a blessing to this ministry. We could not do what we do without your help. Your prayers and your financial support makes it possible for us to tell others about Jesus so they can be saved and come into the kingdom of God. If you're watching this program or listening by radio and you hadn't become a Good News Partner yet, please pray about doing so because God is calling us to go on either, even more stations that we're on, but we need your help. So if God speaks to you about partnership, call us and let us know, and I can send you some uh, free information about partnership. Just call us at 888-429-2280. And for your first partner gift of at least $20, I'll send you my music DVD entitled Songs About Heaven. It has 10 songs on it on the subject of heaven. So call us today at 888-429-2280. And don't forget, when you go on the website, check us out on Facebook and on YouTube. You can watch all the good news programs on our YouTube channel. So be sure and follow us on there as well. Well, I want to say a prayer for you, Heavenly Father. I thank you for everyone watching and listening today. And I ask you, Lord, to heal the sick and set the captives free by your power and your anointing. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We love you and we'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. Prison I dwell, no freedom from my sorrow I feel, but Jesus came and he lived.
listen to me. Glory to God, he set me free. He set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Well, you used to be the blues, but now I'm singing the news. I'm singing the news.